Cherokee or pre-Cherokee people have lived in Oconee County for many thousands of years as one of 14 different tribes located in South Carolina when DeSoto arrived in 1539. The Cherokee resided in the hills and valleys of the upstate in what became known as Lower Towns because they were lower in elevation than the villages in North Carolina. Contrary to the typical movie interpretation of Native Americans living in teepees and following the buffalo, as the Apache, Arapaho, Lakota, and others did, the Cherokee were settled people living in established villages with 50 to 100 homes surrounding a central plaza area where public ceremonies were held. Today there are 27 known village sites in Oconee County where Cherokee lived at one time. Outside the village, they practiced agriculture, creating large fields where they grew the traditional three sisters of corn, beans, and squash. They managed plum and peach orchards, while hunting and fishing provided protein in their diet. Cherokee families were similar to families today, raising children and enjoying games and sports. In their world, games were used to teach boys the skills they would need in order to hunt and fish and defend their families. In the early 1700s, the Cherokee in this area were plentiful and powerful. Through a series of treaties with first the British and then the new United States, their homeland was gradually reduced until no Cherokee tribal land remained in South Carolina after 1816. But Cherokee people stayed in this area, adapting and mixing with settlers. And today, many Oconee County residents are proud to claim Cherokee as part of their bloodline.